This is Sumiyoshi Taisha, a Shinto shrine situated in Sumiyoshi Ward in southern Osaka, and a tangible, immovable cultural heritage that requires preservation. Sumiyoshi Taisha dates back to 3rd century AD and is the earliest and one of the few existing examples of the Sumiyoshi Sakuri, an architectural style that predates the arrival of Buddhism in Japan. It is the head shrine of approximately 2,300 Sumiyoshi shrines throughout Japan and is visited by 2 million worshippers every new year. On my visit there last month, I saw the Turo, stone lanterns, around 600 of which stand throughout the shrine grounds. I bowed at the many tori or ceremonial gateways. I walked over the famous Sorobashi Bridge, its steep climb said to stop evil forces from entering the shrine. And of course, I made my prayers to the Honden, or main hall, a designated national treasure of Japan. Even while immersed in the serene and pure atmosphere of the shrine, I couldn't help but notice the wear and tear it had taken from being on this earth and worshipped by millions for more than 1,500 years. See, Sumiyoshi Taisha is an important piece of the history of Osaka in Japan. Hundreds of years ago, travelers, fishermen, and sailors from all over Japan would come to Sumiyoshi Taisha to pray for safe travels. Now, the ocean kami, or gods still enshrined there, are reminders of how Osaka came to be what it is today. The city of water, a center of commerce connecting the east to the west of Japan, a great distributor of rice, vegetables, and fish. Sumiyoshi Taisha is one of the few and diminishing number of places in Japan that is entirely without influence. It is a place that allows the community, locals, and passerbys alike to gather and practice, celebrate, and carry on Japan's traditional, unique culture, history, and religion. It is undeniable that Sumiyoshi Taisha is a cultural heritage with value of all types that must be preserved in order to be witnessed by future generations. Already there seem to be some efforts, however additional actions can always be taken. Stricter measures, like guards, could be provided to ensure visitors will not cause damage. Educating the public, both local and non-local, by providing more multi-language historical information online and at the shrine itself, by the creation of an exhibit in the Osaka Museum of History, and by conducting educational field trips for local primary students. These would invite community awareness and participation in the significance and preservation of the shrine. Preservation of the shrine through community efforts would encourage to find and justify the community itself and its unique culture. Steps could also be taken to digitally preserve the shrine. A simple video or documentary like this one is a good medium for education and cultural transmission. Something like 3D imaging would be ideal for digitizing the shrine and it, as its architecture is of particular interest, though it may be less practical due to cost. All in all, the preservation of Sumiyoshi Taisha, in any way, is of great importance and is to the benefit of many.